Hey, this is Charles Craven, and I'm going to show you how to set up a master resell rights product very easily using the shopping cart called Sylvie. And the reason why I'm using this is because it has 0% fees. Some shopping carts charge well over 10% plus transaction fees, and this is a very big way to save money. Also, it has the ability to set up pages very quick, and it uses a boiler um, plate template. So if you're into like making extreme changes on your template, you probably want to find a different option. You know, there are funnel builders that will do that for you. But if you're cool just launching a product very fast and using something that works, then this would be the way. Another reason why I picked this is because it does have a lot of features. The features are growing. The, the vendor is a very good programmer. I've known him for like roughly three years. I bought another product from him. And what I've found is that he's very responsive. He adds items to his roadmap. You could see it. He's very transparent. He shows you when he's created new features, what he's working on, and what is planned. So that's pretty good. So this works with Stripe at this point in time. And with Stripe, it taps into Apple Pay and Google Pay. That's something I wanted because I have other shopping carts and they don't have the ability to easily use Google Pay or Apple Pay. So that's what I like about it. And then the pricing is very affordable. So instead of paying monthly fees, I decided to go for a lifetime deal. If you go to pricing here, you'll see monthly options plus lifetime deals where you just pay once and you don't have to deal with monthly fees again. So that's what I like about Sylvie. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm going to set up a product. I found this after logging in. You'll see the dashboard, but if you go to products under catalog, then you'll see this page. I can go ahead and add a product and then I could put the product name here. I'll just grab it from the sales letter it's called Zero to Profits from uh, Daniel Cho and Nathan Bokers. And I'll just put MRR plus MRR. For people that are just selling master resale rights, <laughs> yeah, this might be um, a curiosity booster so that's why i put it there and you'll see what it is soon and then i'll put the slug it's the url so zero to profits using dashes um, instead of spaces and this is going to be the whole url of my product and then the base price is 100. this also allows me to do subscriptions and then also product options or variants but this is a very simple product process, so I'm not going to use variants or options. And then I'll go ahead and put a subtitle. Subtitle is optional, but it's like a SEO meta description, and I like to do it to provide a little bit more information. It also shows on the sales letter right below the title. So what I do is that I just get a description um, for the sales letter. I'll copy the whole thing. I press Control A, Control C using Microsoft Word. You could do that in Google Docs as well. And then I'll use a tool called Poe. Poe.com is my choice for AI. It is an alternative to ChatGPT. It includes all the open AI models like ChatGPT, the latest version, plus it has Claude. It has many more, uh, Llama and Dolly 3 for images, stability, a lot of different um, AI models here. So what I'm gonna do is create a SEO meta description. And it's, you know, that subtitle, it's not an SEO meta description, but I treat it like one. It's a very short description. So I'll say, uh, create a SEO meta description that is under 150 characters and under one and um, only one sentence long and is highly engaging for this colon. And then I'll paste the sales letter content. Okay, there we go. And it's two sentences. Two sentences could work. Um, I'll just say, um, is this under 150 characters? Yes, okay, 148. So let me go ahead and just paste that, see how it looks. And then I'll actually modify it. I'll put something. Um, I want you to use master. I want you to include master resale rights 
to the description and make sure the description is under 150 characters. Let's see what it comes up with. Okay, um, how about this? Come up with uh, five variations. And then um, rank them on a scale from one to 10, 10 being the most engaging. Okay. Uh, I'm going to use this but modify it. See, earn passive income online with our three-step system, game master resale rights, automated business secrets, and um, let's see. Earn or income. And and learn how to effectively promote your offers. Okay. And then what I'll do is copy and paste the sales letter. Okay, I have to um, put the banner here and then I'm going to copy this right here and then paste it here on what you'll get. This is optional, but I like this. Um, it's a mini description of what the customer is going to get, and I'll show you what it looks like soon. And then the bottom says contact us, uses the main pop email. I'll just say using the support link at the bottom of this page. Okay. And then I'm going to change the image here. I'll just highlight it. I'll delete it and then click on this image to pick an image. Okay. It's going to be my banner for zero to profits. There we go. And so next step is to let's go ahead and pick an image for the top here. It says next. I'm going to click on browse files here. And then I'm going to pick the thumbnail. And these images, they came from the vendor. Okay. And then I only want to do two things here. I want to go ahead and redirect the user to a page. And then I also want to send uh, an email to them. It's kind of like their receipt. So I don't want to reveal the details of the receipt information because it has some things that are private. So what I'm going to do is just show you um, just something like a, a boilerplate content script that I can add in. So imagine that this is the email content. I could click on here and then paste the body of the email. And then I could put thanks. And then I could put something like the description or the title of the product just so people that buy this, they can get this email and know what it's about. You could create a, a better subject line, but I try to keep it short. And then I can save that one. And then for redirect, you can create a, a bridge page. You could re redirect people to another product. You can also add like, let's say, um, an affiliate link. I'm going to show you what I do. Some people might use a Google Doc, but I'm going to use another tool that I think is pretty cool. So here's a tool I'm using. It's an alternative to Google Docs, but it has more. It has the ability to create documents, but you could also use it to manage projects, manage tasks, use AI automations, workflows in it, pretty advanced stuff. And you could also use it to chat with customers, use it to chat with um, a team and even within the document you could even use it as a chat workspace so i think it's pretty cool and you can see that they have a free version here 
and a lot of stuff within the free version here. And so I say check it out. Um, you could see that it only gives you one workspace. So like let's say you're just using it for one company. I think that's pretty pretty good. And just check it out. It's like an alternative to Google Docs and I'll show you how I use it. So right now I have this blank workspace. I'm just gonna add a blank document. Then I'll put the um, the title of the document, like let's say you for purchasing uh, zero to zero profits. And then I could put my email, like let's say um, the content of this can be either your uh, email content, but you need to modify it so it makes sense. And just say, uh, here are the details for your order, something like that. And you could put all the details. So imagine that that is your, um, this is your page that you're going to redirect people to. So I can share this um, as a link. So before I do that, what I want to do is I want to go to, to share here. It's going to be different than this share button. This is actually a share for a link. And then I can share the link. I'm going to change the permissions to viewer and then just copy a link. And I'm going to show you something because it is something that has this chat here, which is pretty cool if, if you want to have a document where people can uh, reply to you. You can provide support within a document instead of um, setting up a help desk, you could set it up here, kind of like having um, a post within Facebook that people reply to. It'll be something like that. But I want to remove that. So the way I remove it is I modify the project settings, and then I go to settings, and I turn off project chat, and I also turn off um, comments as well. And that's how I do it. And so... If I paste it there, now comments are gone. And so I can go back to Sylvie. I could put in my success URL and then I can save it. So when people purchase, they'll be redirected to this link. And you could, again, use an affiliate link if that's what you want to do or a page to upsell. And then you have the success email that will be sent to the user once they order the product, once they buy, then they'll receive an email with the contents, whatever you decide to put there. And then I'll save changes. So now I have the product here. And then I want to set it to listed or unlisted. If you put it as listed, it will be um, public on your main store, whatever store URL you're using. For your store URL, if you are um, just starting out, you could use the Sylvie domain. But if you are advanced, you could set up your own domain. The disadvantage I saw when only using the Sylvie domain is that I'm not able to use Google Pay or Apple Pay. I could use credit cards. But if I set up my own domain, then I could set up my domain within Stripe and then allow Apple Pay verification as well as Google Pay. So um, that's a benefit of having your own domain. But still, you could still make a lot of money just accepting credit card. Um, payments. So let's go to unlisted so it won't show up on my shop yet. And then I'm just going to view the link. So that's what it looks like. And you can see here's the short description. And that's how it works. And then this link is what I can promote. Um, I could promote it through my list, through social media, YouTube channel, wherever I want to promote it. And I do see that this is overhanging a little bit. I might want to modify that. And I'll say, shorten this more and make more engaging. Okay. So let's see how that looks. I'll go ahead and save the subtitle again. And then if you decide to use variants in the future, I would say that um, only work on one variant at a time and then when you work on one save it and then reload your page because cached variants it could cause a problem but if you're not using variants don't worry so I changed my subtitle with a shorter one and then save changes and then let's look at it again let's reload the page 
and you can see it's all in one line. That's what I wanted. And that's it. So I have this fully functional um, MRR product that's available on my, my domain. If I go to About, I have my description here. But that's how it works. A very simple sales letter. And I would say that um, it's different than Stan Store, but it's still very, very simple to use. And if I go to Buy Now, which I'll show you what that looks like, you could see that on my computer, I'm using a Windows computer. It'll show Google Pay. So Google Pay will show up on Android phones. And if you're using an iPhone, then it'll show up with Apple Pay if you're using your own domain. So that's what it would look like. Um, there, there's one more thing I want to show you that I think is cool. I'll show you soon. So within marketing, I have the ability to have these upsells, which are like order bumps and flash sales, coupons. I could even set up my own uh, affiliate uh, mini network. But the thing is that most MRR products, they don't want you to set up affiliate links for your product. And then there's also embeds. If I want to embed it on a website, if I want to put like an iframe or something that is embedded within a page instead of linking out to it. So what I'm going to show you right now is something called upsells because I think it's pretty sweet. So let me go ahead and create an upsell. Okay, so I can upsell a product. Like let's say if I have um, a product that I've created, one that I own, let's say this one, and then I only want to show it to zero to profits. And then I'll just say, 50% off my blueprint. And then I could put something like, um, here's how I have been making money online using um, a very simple approach, um, side hustle blueprint. And I could put more, I could put like a paragraph of one or two, and then what I can do is choose how I want to show it. So it could be a pop-up, it could be a div that fades away, and it can also be shown before checkout and after checkout. So that could be like a one-time offer. But let's say if I want to make it um, a fade away item, and then I can go ahead and put 50% off here, and then click on add upsell. Okay, so let's show you how it works. Okay, I'm on this page. Let me go ahead and reload it. Okay, one thing I need to do, I have a few complications here. I forgot to set it as live. So let me go ahead and go to my upsells page and set up as live. And then I'll go to the page to show you how it looks like. Okay, so this is how it looks like if you're on the page if it um, is set up like let's say in a new page like incognito then it'll show the offer timer let me see if I could put it in incognito and see how it works okay and then that's the GDPR notice I'll accept that and then I'll click on buy now here okay if you see it right here this is the upsell and it shows that it's 50% off so that's pretty cool. Um, that's a way to actually make money off of your offers. And also you could show this after a page, um, after a person buys the offer, and that's how you can do an upsell. So very streamlined approach to do upsells. So that is my whole tutorial using Sylvie to list master resale rights products. And then if you want to check out the shopping cart, make sure that you check out the link in my description.